Hey, good morning. This is Rich from Ready Heli. This morning we're going to give you a little video on uh, main gear and the pinions that you can use with your main gear and also what the mod means um, on the pinion. We have a lot of confusion as far as that goes. Uh, and, and what the mod is and the tooth count on the main gear is for is to get your appropriate head speed for the head speed that you want based on your helicopter. So what we have here this morning is I have two main gears. These are from a Mikado helicopter. This one happens to be from the Mikado 500. This is what they call a Mod 5 gear, and we're going to cover the Mod here in a second. This has a 212 teeth on the gear. The one next to it is a Mod 1 gear. This has 106 teeth on the gear. This is from a uh, Mikado 600. If you look at them close side by side, there's obviously a large difference in the, uh, in the tooth uh, teeth size on there. What the Mod actually is, a lot of people don't know that, what the Mod actually is is the distance or the size of the tooth on the gear or the pinion. Why this is important is because you want to make sure that you have the same mod on your pinion that you do on your main gear. Now granted these are very very far away, again we have a mod 5 on the left, a mod 1 on the right, so you can definitely see the difference so when you're matching it up to a pinion it's going to be easy to do. But when you start going from a mod 5 let's say to a mod 7, it's going to be a little close, they're going to look very similar and if you use the wrong pinion you could actually strip your gear out. As far as the pinions go, you have a couple different sizes on here. This is a Mod 7 pinion, 19 teeth uh, for the gear, and it has a 5 millimeter shaft, and that's going to be for your motor. So you want to make sure you're getting obviously the right pinion for your motor with the shaft, be it a 5 or a 6, or if you're getting into the extreme size, uh, 8 millimeter. And then obviously the Mod, again, needs to match your main gear, and then your tooth size, and we're going to cover over how you pick your tooth size. Again, you can see a major difference in here. This is a Mod 1 gear. A Mod 1 gear here with a 12 tooth for the pinion. Now if I look at here, we'll just take and match these up and you'll be able to see how, well, let's go put it the right way there, Rich. We'll put it, see how it fits perfectly in that gear. So when it turns, there's no play, there's no space, it moves smoothly, there's no drag. And that's what you want it to do. Another good thing that you want to do is when you mount this in your helicopter, there's a really simple way of making sure that you have the proper gear mesh. Um, a lot of people will turn around and rip a piece of paper and slide a paper through here and turn the gear. What should happen with the paper? It should create an accordion style for your paper, but not rip the paper. If it rips the paper, then you have the mesh too tight. If it doesn't crease the paper enough to make an accordion, then it's too loose. And if so, if you do it that correctly, you won't have any problems with your gear. So you can see how that one fits perfectly on there. Uh, we can grab this other gear, and it, it's going to be pretty obvious, as you can see, that this will not fit in there. Again, these are very far apart, one being a Mod 1, one being a Mod 5. Well, if it was a Mod 5 and a 7, it would almost fit, but as it goes around, it will get harder and harder to turn, and will actually end up stripping that gear. So how do you know with pinion to use? as far as teeth size, tooth size goes, to get the head speed that you want. Well, Frederick Mellon has done a really great thing for us. We put a head speed calculator on the Ready Haley webpage. And how you can access it is obviously you go to readyhaley.com. We have our page opened up here. And you go down here on the left side. And right here, it's a little link that says head speed calculator. So we're going to click on that. That opens up this page for us. Now we have several options here. Now I'm not going to cover all the intricate things here. I'm going to go through a really quick thing that if you want to look and see what pinion you need for your gear to get your head speed. On the top here, you can, if you come in here several times, you can have preset models in here so that you can keep coming back and put your own model in there with your settings that will remember that for you. Right here you have your battery rating, whether it be 35C all the way up to 65C. That's going to obviously change your head speed and how, how, the, uh, how the helicopter will operate. The number of cells, you want to put that in here as well for your battery. And then when you come down here, this is a really, really cool feature. If you know what your main gear uh, is, like I know that this one's a 106, I can punch that in there and I can just go here like, like this and just punch in 106. If you don't know what the gear, what the tooth setting is on your main gear, you can just come over here. We have a list of all the main gears or most common ones and if it's not on there, we can add it for you if you think it needs to be there. And you come down and you just pick your helicopter, okay? So for instance, we'll come down here and we'll pick the Logo 600 with a Mod 1 gear. It's already up there anyway because it was 106, but if it wasn't the 106, the different one would show up. Now you have two options here. 
One option is you're going to pick your pinion. So let's leave 12 tooth pinion on there for right now. Okay, we're going to come back here in a second and, and select another option. Next, you want to pick the KV of your motor. I'm running a 500 KV in mine, so I'll punch 500 in there. A 500 KV motor, okay? Motor peak efficiency, we'll leave that at 90, okay? Now I'll come down here. Do I want to enable the governor or not? So we're going to do it both ways. We'll leave it with the governor disabled right now. And I'm going to come down here real simple. I'm going to hit calculate. And what it's going to do is it's going to tell me at the beginning of my flight, my head speed is going to be around 2,223 RPM. And near the end of the flight, it'll come down to 1976. And it also has a lot of other really neat information. Now, if you want to know what this information means, you can click on these links here. It'll say, hey, what does that mean? And you can just read that right off of there. You know, the results with no governor selected, it'll tell you what those results mean. So we close out of this. There's a nice handy chart. The problem is the chart goes away when you click on that. So we'll go back in to get the chart again. Now you have a chart, say, well, what does these little lines mean here? I got a green line and a red line. So, okay, what does that mean? So we're gonna go down here, explanation of the chart, all right? And now it tells you what the green line is going to mean. So basically on this one, it says the calculator will read two lines, okay? The first line, meaning the red line, is approximate low RPM throughout the flight. The green line represents estimated low RPM when you apply max load for your, uh, based on your type of flying. So again, you can, Again, there's a, it's going almost like the V-bar where you highlight on something and it'll tell you what the example is, but here you have to click on the link. So let's go back in here. If I enable the governor for the same one, I hit calculate. You'll notice the settings are going to be a little bit different. The graph is a little bit different. And again, you'll click on these links here to determine on what this information means for your particular helicopter. So let's say that you don't know what pinion you want to use, but you know for a fact that you want to run around 2300 RPM, let's say. So you can come up here and you can say, find my pinion instead. So I'll click on this, okay? I have, I have a 21 in there. I'm gonna put 22 in here just for giggles. So there's 20, 2200. So I'll say I want 2200. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click calculate again. Now it says, well, if you want 2200 RPM based on your mod, based on your gear, based on your motor KV, you're going to need a 14 tooth pinion. So it's a real simple way for you to get the right information that you want. Now there are other things that you can do on here. That's a basic, basic setup. It's gonna really give you what you want as far as what you, if you wanna know a head speed or pinion. And you can come down here and you can expand this button down here, fine tuning parameters, you can pick outside air temperature, well, your, your flying style, whether you're just gonna throw it around or whether you're a big 3D pilot or just sport flying, okay? And the battery type, the age of the battery, because obviously that's gonna affect you if your battery's a couple years old, it might not perform as well as the new one. And the average flight time that you'll be flying. So this will all go into effect and give you a different head speed as well. Probably not so far off from your initial one, but it will vary it a little bit. These pinions are all available. Uh, on our website as well, and these are Mercado pinions because with the herringbone, but if you go down here, a really easy way to navigate our website is we have these little clicks on the left here, and you can just go down here to this one that says pinions, and you have all the different pinions available to you, the Mercado ones here, Revco ones will fit just about every other helicopter that's out there. Again, once you know the mod of the helicopter that you're looking for, and also Scorpion has their own as well. So hopefully that clears up a little bit on how to get your accurate head speed with the gear that you know, and with the pinion. And if you don't know it, you can use the, uh, Mr. Mel's head speed calculator to get that information for you. Hope that clears that up a little bit. Enjoy your flying day, and we'll talk to you again.